All right, hey guys, Mick here. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I set up my GoPro onto my helmet. I have a fly helmet here. Uh, if you wanna know the prices of everything that I have here and that I'll be using, everything is listed down below, but I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna attach my GoPro onto this helmet. So I have everything laid out in front of me that I'm going to need to do this. As far as the attachments go that you want from GoPro, uh, I have a, I bought a assortment box of attachments and things like that. This is an L hook. If you had a J hook where it's not flat, it would be angled out like this way, which means the GoPro would be looking down at the ground. With the L hook here, you have uh, more, more diversity and versatility for what you want to do. Um, you can put it anywhere on the helmet and you don't have to change all of these attachments. You can keep this right here and this will be work best for you. There's that. This is what that looks like. Now as far as the case goes, this case is from Amazon. It is one of those cases that comes with the spot for the microphone adapter from GoPro. On your GoPro, you're going to need to take that door off. It's got an attachment that looks like, you know, a Lego hand. And you're just going to pop that down. It's going to feel like you're going to break it. Don't break it. But you're going to pop that down. Just pop the door off. Um, there's videos on that. My door is already off. I have misplaced my door. I can't show you. So it's going to go like that into the GoPro. Yeah, you're going to twist it. It'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to be using the 3M tape for the entire back of this thing since it's already previously used. Got a little bit of stick, so I'm hoping that it'll stick better to the 3M tape. So I got a full piece of 3M and a half piece of 3M because this curve does not contour the way it needs to to the front of my helmet. That's fine. That's why I have the 3M tape. We're going to see how well that holds. It's 3M tape. If I need to redo it, I can redo it. It's fine. So that's what where that's going to go. Alright. So that's the GoPro mount on there. Now we're going to put the microphone in. This is going to go under my pad in here. Now I had this wrapping all the way around the back of the helmet at one point because this was hooked to a microphone from my CD unit and I had thought that the microphone inside the helmet from the CD unit would hook up to the scene unit and go from here to the GoPro. So I had an aux cord from the scene unit to the GoPro. Aux cord from the scene unit to the GoPro does not work. It can be the scene unit's aux port that comes in the box. It will not work with audio. You won't hear a thing from the scene unit that way. So I have a microphone in here from the scene unit. And so this will go on that mic I'm going to take this pad and I'm going to stuff all of this cord down in the side there. So I'm just going to stick that back down over it. And so far, it looks like so. Got all that cord hanging off there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, take that up. So, that's what it looks like all up here. Excuse me, wrong monitor. Right there. Check underneath. That's what it looks like. Just want it down so it's secure. So, with the GoPro on, it's going to go right there. Side profile of the entire setup. Other side profile of the entire setup. When I stick my head in my helmet, there's this little flap that goes on in the front here. This already blocks me from seeing that GoPro. So if I wanted to see my GoPro, I gotta reach my hand up in there and pull that flap down. That's why the GoPro being right here on this helmet does not bother me because I can't see it. it does, it's not in my visual anyways. It will add a little bit of weight to your head. Just be aware of that. It will add a little bit of weight to your head. So yeah, there you go. All right, hi guys, I'm back. I have discovered that the mic that I had hooked up to this, um, does not actually work and it might be my mic that's the problem with the popping noise so i am going to take it out and replace it with this other mic that i have found and done a little bit of research on 
It is the giant squid mic. Um, I have seen that it is a mono mic and that that was my problem. Um, so we're gonna put it on, replace it, and try it out. So when you get it, it comes in a little baggie, um, and it has a flat end um, <laughs> little mic thing. Uh, I'm assuming it's supposed to be puffy like this one, so I might just use the one that's off of this. They're two different sizes. Um, so this is the other one, that's what it looks like compared to the old one. It's a little bit, it's attached right there. So I'm going to take this out for a test drive now. So if you're seeing this, it worked. All right, hi guys, it's Mick and Moda here. Um, got the new mic in. The uh, giant squid mic, and I'm testing it out. We're gonna see if I get any popping noise. We're going roughly uh, 57, 58. Um, usually at this speed, you get to and you're like, oh my god, something's wrong. Um, it's, it was terrible with the other mic. Uh, if this works, and this is different, and this is better, um, I'll put in a clip of the other mic and show you guys exactly what it was doing, um, the noise it was making. The other mic, I could only talk at like this speed right here, or waiting at a stoplight at a, uh, well, moto vlogging, that's not really uh, practical. Hey guys, it's Mick. This is my setup video. Um, I have the GoPro on my chin in front. I have it set up, I have the mic inside my helmet. Uh, clipped on to the scene unit mic and I am going to be just recording and show you guys how it sounds and how it performs. How you doing? But yeah, we're going to close this out here. Hopefully this video um, doesn't have any popping. I thank y'all for watching.